Where is he? happened? Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Tell don't. Him. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So, I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. The fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you pop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, you already called Shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice little place we can hang out, you know. It's a, a very relaxing little spot. Getaway, if you will. Cabin in the woods. You know what? Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now... He's holding up shooting until he gets paid! That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already! <laughs> Here we are. Man, your house is empty. Oh, 
I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him. We fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? Alright, well, I'll hit you if I find you tonight. Absolutely. Ah, uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming from him! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Well, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> oh, listen, I'm beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And I, you know, can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up in little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Great! Let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. I want country clubs, and a depressed wife with blonde hair, and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. Maybe if you'd buy into Oscar's business? I'm hearing there's a lot of bounce in the firearms sector. Well, I heard there's a lot of bounce in your head. Crop duster, that's the best we can do? Order. Tell them there's a fire sale!
it, but it's good to be working together again. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to have you back. You're a good team. Every team needs a leader, a leader, and a mindless follower, too. That's right, boss.
Michael. Yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I just... I'll be caught up in the bullshit, Doc. You know, ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. I mean, I hooked up with this old associate. I even got a new one, too, this kid. With, I don't know, he's got similar proclivities. <laughs> oh, God. Now everything's out of control. I mean, but it's not by choice. You know, I just... My life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. So, any other violent urges, friend? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. Michael? Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not trying to be perfect. Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time, my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. No, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will you? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Please, son. You want to sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? 
Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Oh, fuck you. Uh, where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. I'm just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time. Killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit. That's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah. You've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you gone. Man, ten years in the sun. Your brain is melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? And I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? But compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. sane, 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 oh, sane. Okay. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming out. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling L.S. and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. Hope you're happy. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. Nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't stay out too late. <laughs>